Hello everyone, in this video I thought we'd uh, have a look through some promo items I've got. These are display covers. Um, I received these uh, about two years ago now. I uh, got them from a friend of mine at Vintage Gamer in uh, Colligate in the good old United Kingdom. I'll put a link down in the description below if you want to check them out. But um, I got these, these are some promo display things I had lying around. They had quite a few so I had one of each of them. And uh, I thought I'd show them now, just so we can see them. And these are basically uh, what would have gone in cases on shop shelves or some of them would have been stuck on the walls or something like that, just to advertise the game or for you to take the box to the till and then they give you the actual game. But yeah, this first one's for the NDS and it is <coughs> Sonic uh, Sega All-Stars Racing, which is a really, a really good game, to be honest. I absolutely love this game. And as for like a kind of like Mario Karty type uh, cutie racing game, this this is awesome. Like it really is, and it's got all different characters from Sega games in as well. It's probably a bit more appealing than Mario Kart, to be honest. But um, but yeah, uh, this is the display cover that would have gone on shelves. Uh, it looks like it's pretty much just the standard case. I'm not sure if anyone has the actual cover. They can check over and see if there's any differences. But yeah, these will also be scanned and uploaded to the Retro Detect website as well. So if you want to look in more better detail, you'll be able to take a look over there. Another display case here. This is for the Sonic Classic Collection. Four classic games in one cartridge. Sonic 1, 2, 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles. So yeah... And looks like another, other than the display purpose only icon there, looks like it's just the normal uh, cover, normal artwork. Next up we have Just Cause 2, this one's for the PS3. And this looks like, um, I mean it looks like a normal cover, it's got all the markings on, but there's no barcode, so I would assume this is still a promo uh, item because without the barcode I can't see it being a retail item but yeah if anyone knows any differences on here let me know in the comments below oh this one's double sided didn't realise that ah ok so here we go I've just noticed a difference see this free exclusive downloadable content and map see backer pack for details uh, so this one, so yeah, they'd have put this in dependent on the side, that would have been the standard version and that would have been the special edition and they'd have just put either one in the case and put it on the shelf. So with this, uh, this version, a limited edition, <coughs> you'd get a gun, bullseye, assault rifle, a Chevrolet Classic, Agency, Hovercraft, Chaos Parachute and a double sided Intel map and poster. Ah, that poster looks like a physical item. I'm going to have to look for that. I can get that on the wall. Yeah, that's quite cool. <clears throat> right, now we have Final Fantasy 13, I believe. I've got a bit of slight bend on this one. Yeah, again, no barcode, so I would say this is the uh, shelf promo item. And not double sided. So, yeah. And again, the same game, Final Fantasy XIII, but this time the Xbox version. Single sided again, and this is the PAL. I think most, I think all of them should be PAL version, to be honest. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much difference. It does look pretty much the same. The same artwork and background and everything, just obviously a different size. And then, oh, we have another Just Cause 2. Uh, and this one again, double sided, so let's have a look. So this one looks like the standard version. And then, yep, yeah, again, on the back. So pretty much the same as the uh, PS3 version. Now we have Final Fantasy Crystal Bearers, a game I've never actually played. Uh, to be honest, when the Final Fantasy games got to the PS2 era, I kind of lost love with them because they just got too 
it was too much storyline and animation driven and it was just I mean Final Fantasy 7 was the game where it was at for me but even that was like long drawn and then after that one I just couldn't get into it again because it was just too much but they, they are brilliant games and this one does kind of look quite interesting to be honest so let me know in the comments below if you've played that and obviously this one's for the Wii and this is a trouble with a lot of Wii games I love the Wii but a lot of the games I won't play because I can't be bothered to swing my arms around and unfortunately it looks like this is one of them because you can't use a control pad by the look of it so, so you know you've got to stand there and keep swinging your arms around everywhere just to play a game and in theory it sounds brilliant but in real world it's it's not what I want to be doing I just want to sit there with a control pad but let me know if it's a good game in the comments below next up we've got oh this is a PC one Alien vs Predator or Aliens vs Predator and this is a display case single sided and yeah looks pretty cool I like the artwork Um, we got the same game again, but this time for the 360. And it looks pretty much exactly the same. There's a couple of slight differences with some of the text, but other than that, it's just the same. Then we got the same game for the PS3. And yep, exactly the same again, just a bit smaller. And we've obviously the PlayStation symbols on. Oh, now we got. I'm gonna have to do that sideways because it won't go in properly, or will it? Not really. So I'll leave it sideways. Uh, the long-awaited sequel is finally here. Still Life 2. I've never actually played a Still Life game. This one's got a bit of damage, a crease in the middle, but never mind. Um, 19th of February. Not sure what year that was. Uh, 2009, 2010. So yeah, that's like a. This would have been stuck on the wall or something to advertise or a window something like that and yeah as I say I never played a still life game so no idea what they're like and then finally we have sale simulator um, probably in 2010 I probably would have enjoyed this game but um, now I don't know I think the market's flooded with just little I mean this this is probably a big game, but nowadays they release something like this and it's just a 10 minute game. So, I don't know. Maybe it's good. I used to like the flight sims back in the day. But, uh, but yeah. If you've played Sail Sim, let me know what it's like or what you have to do. I mean, obviously you have to sail, but is that just it or is there anything interesting other than that in it? The most realistic and best looking sailing simulator software ever made. Learn to sail with several boat types, realistic wave field, online multiplayer, uh, blah de blah. Sailing areas Shevenigan, Cabra, Kohong, and Treasure Island. Are they real places? No idea. But that brings us to the end of these promos. I've got hundreds of these. I do get loads of these sent to me from uh, games companies as well. So maybe at some point I'll do another one because most of them are away in boxes. Um, but if you'd like to see any more of this sort of stuff, let me know and I'll get some more videos done. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you've got any stuff like this or if any of these games you love or if you played them um, and you like them or dislike them. But yeah, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Toodaloo.